What's going on, everybody? Anonymous Disco here, back with some dreams. I fired up dreams, do my little dream crawl, and I saw this one, the idelium. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Idelium, I, idelium, idelium. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with idelium. Anyways, <laughs> sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I, I, I've been really anticipating this one for a real long time. I, I followed the creation. I, uh, because I know that Beavis 2, who's maybe even my favorite creator in, in Dreams, or one of them, uh, was involved with this one. But this has also got, uh, and I'm sorry again if I put these names, uh, Helicosi, Helicosi, and Z2Q. Z2Q. Anyways, we'll go with that for now. Uh, the, it, the, the way they describe it is essentially it's uh, it's just a museum where you go in you look at their art and it's weird and it's cinematic and cool and house of beavis is one of my favorite creations ever i can only imagine uh uh these other two guys are fucking sweet too whoa that is a loud waterfall I feel like this one's gonna be very visual, though. I think there's gotta be a lot going on with music. big man pretty big and epic uh. okay here we go I'm excited man I'm really excited for this Oh, wow. Okay, this is just the opening piece, too. So this one challenges our conception of what we think the human body should look like. As you can see, uh, there's a face that doesn't, you know, doesn't look right. All these, all these pictures, all these, all these statues uh, are challenging our, our, uh, preconceived notions of the human body. <clears throat> so they, I wonder if there's a reason that they put this as the first piece. You know, is that uh, is this uh, what we're going to expect going in? Is this uh, or is it just setting the mood? The idylium contemporary art museum. Welcome. I'm just wondering if I'm saying that right or not. I don't. No, I don't know. I don't know about these things. Beautiful fountain in uh, in the main uh, foyer. The fountain, the opening exhibit of the museum, and the physical embodiment of the themes explored in the idyllium. Contrast and abstract form emphasize the interplay of light and dark in the organic versus the synthetic. The water that pours from the white marble and the vacancy of the black metal depict the harmony of life and death. <clears throat> yes, quite, quite, quite. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, welcome. You are currently in the entrance lobby of the Idylium. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be so self-conscious every time I say that. The Idylium. Idyllium is a virtual museum experience that showcases unique artworks from Haloski, Z2Q, and Beavis 2. Visitors are encouraged to take their time to explore the galleries in, your ent in their entirety. Simply follow where your eyes take you. The museum complex and expansive, but don't be afraid to get lost. As you explore the idyllium, uh, I will reveal it will reveal itself to you. All expositions, 
have info panels to refer to for titles, artist names, and descriptions. During your visit, you can access a photo mode with the touchpad. And when you are ready to leave, you can exit the screen with the options button. Enjoy your visit to the Idilium. Idilium. Oh, well, I'm definitely going to be rocking Dark Gallery. Mmm. I kind of want to see the Dark Gallery. The Three Oreos. Here you will find artworks that thrive in shadow. The contents of the Dark Gallery don't always wish to be seen. Oh, interesting. The Monoliths by Holoski. Ooh, this is going to be a kind of a creepier part, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. The Antithesis by... I just want to make sure I'm saying this uh, dreamer's name correctly. Helicosi. Helicosi, I think. <clears throat> the dark companion of Genesis, Antithesis, unlike Genesis, is tethered to the earth by his own hands. His hollow head strains to peer down the corridor where salvation escapes him. He grows jealous of Genesis from black prison. Yet he is the one who has wings. That's fucking sick looking. I don't know if these guys have a panel or not. Let's keep going. Oh, those waterfalls are big. Whoa! Love by Beavis 2. Coming together or falling apart. The good, the goo, <laughs> sorry, of this world seems to last forever. It undoubtedly ends in one's tragedy or the other's. Regardless, it's worth staying around for a while. It's sticky. That's beautiful. That's so cool how it does that. Oh, that is fucking awesome. Okay. Before I get too far into that. Let's keep going over here. What do we have here? They say F. Fa fail. Oh, failure. Embracing failure. Is that what it's going to be called? Failure. A figure releases their burdens into the air. The papers flutter and twirl in delight as the threat of Earth's surface watches from below. The figure smiles, grateful to have briefly forgotten the inevitable shower of disappointment that awaits them. That's nice. Oh, there's so many cool little details. Look at this guy just out here, just chilling, looking out at the... The, out, the, the grass, the leaves. Anyways, keep it moving. Uh, let's go deeper into love for a second here. That is fucking sick how that happens. I love that. I love love. That's my favorite so far. Okay. Seahorsey. En bleu. Beavis 2. Waterworks by Z2Q. Frontier, looking back. That's sick. Helicosi. Horn of the Field. Oh, that's a creepy one. Yeah, I like the ones that kind of make me uh, uneasy. I like the ones that... Uh, you kind of feel like they're watching you or something. They all kind of have that effect, though, and I think that's very much the the kind of the vibe that they're going with with this guy is that <clears throat> it feels like the museum itself is kind of alive and showing itself to you. Seated Rye by Beavis 2. Ooh. 
behind the square by Beavis too. Huh. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Cell keys. Interesting. So we had the kind of the cell key and the seal cell key kind of went into this guy's eye. It's like it's unlike you're using him to unlock the door and we have the cell keys kind of here. That's pretty. Wildflower by Heloski. Hello Helicosi. Hello Kosi. And I, I again just apologize for my uh if I'm saying anything wrong. Now I'm gonna take a guess, and I'm gonna say this big uh, one here is is Beavis too. I think he really likes to make statues of like obesity and stuff. But it doesn't does it have a? Okay, so that was the dark gallery back there. So we're moving on here. Um, I love that. Like I I started in the lobby and I just went down to the dark gallery. And I thought it was gonna take me back to the lobby, but it hasn't. Like it. It just kind of keeps going in its in its own ways, and it seems like there's a lot of expanding sim. Oh, oh no, it is uh, Helicos Helicosi. Uh, it it does remind me a lot of the kind of a House of Beavis vibe, but uh, it's it's a, a different artist. Uh, the centerpiece of the pier walk, a kneeling woman, knowingly points upwards, but her story is up to interpretation. Whether it be valiant exclamation or a gesture of horror, the woman appears to see something that we do not. Only her hands, one protective and the other outstretched, offer the emotion her face is absent of. Very cool, very cool. Ooh, where do I want to go? They both. Let's keep going this way. I kind of like the dark, alluringness. Balance. Oh, that's even. It's it's kind of uh, it's so interesting because it's it's art within art. You know, like even the 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 world itself the museum itself when even you're not looking at the the paintings and the statues and all this the 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 craft the dream itself the video game is very very pretty too like the lighting's all very pretty and and the uh the these weird ominous kind of shapes outside and this kind of this world that you're in is is gorgeous it's like a play within a play or something. Ooh. Wonder if this has a ticket. Maybe it's down there, but I like how it kind of stretches and it's, it goes through different levels. It's like the universe and a guy's trying to tame the universe or something. I don't know. Oh. Light gallery, the promenade. Hmm, 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 hmm. Where do I want to go next? Let, we've seen the dark gallery. Let's see the light gallery. Ah. Lo Tros Ferez. The three brothers. The bodies of the three brothers perched on the rocky ground, the oldest in the center, separating the younger two as they argue over who has the most aesthetic physique. <laughs> Very cool. I like that one. I also have a brother, so I can relate. Moving on. Light gallery. The lights. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the light gallery serves as the summit of the Idylium's 
from which the remainder of the museum is lit. Whoa, what do we got here? We got Fancy Walker. Scat Walker. A fine place to strut in the light, Beavis too. No doubt, Sokolos, dude. Yeah, that was trippy when that fucking light was coming on. It was fucking banging, dude. Banging. Curly Fries. <laughs> By Helicosi. A doubled, reinterpreted, reinterpreted fractal. Infinity with a friend. Or an enemy. A glinting mathematical anomaly suspended like a joke. A trophy or maybe curly fries. Making me hungry. So this is kind of similar. The dancers see feels a little similar to um, the three brothers. Um, that kind of style. The dancers, a couple entwined, the man stuck firmly and ever attentive, supports his partner as she looks skyward and spins freely. He wonders, was the super glue necessary? That's really fucking pretty. I love the, the fucking right at the waterfall kind of dangling there. All right, so hope we didn't miss anything. I, I'm sure I've missed so much shit already. But this is the promenade. Ooh. All right, well, let's read up on the promenade. Split between two levels. The promenade is open is the open backyard of the idylium with the kinetic artifact as the centerpiece the kinetic artifact is that the kinetic artifact perhaps domestic dispute by z2q A husband arms crossed and turned away from his wife the wife yells look me in the eye you're not half the man you think you are. Then she quietly concedes that she may have lost her head at, for a moment, but she just hates when he stands in doorways like a statue. <laughs> Very cool. I wonder if this is the kinetic art piece that they're referring to. It's fucking gorgeous. I love it. Like the, that's so cool. That would have, oh, that, just designing all this shit and dreams would have been so freaking hard, man. Like I can't. How do I? Oh, it's so pretty. The way it kind of catches the light too. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. All right. Artifact by Helicosi. A personal relic, ever evolving. There is a poetry to celestial motion that. Oh, I don't know that word. Orries. Or Orries. Captured like nothing else. Clockwork is everywhere. Only we don't always see the cogs of our lives. Yeah, it's saying like things are always moving. But this is just a, a physical representation of that. That time is always moving, the world's always spinning, everything's always going, but this is showing you firsthand, man. It's just like the universe too. Looks like the Milky Way or something, but just with twist. It's never quite it's like if you think about it as the, the Milky Way, and or think about it as our, even our solar system, and you kind of get that in your head. Like you can see that that's kind of Saturn there with the rings, and but it's never quite perfect. I wonder if that's maybe saying something. Like it's never quite that perfect rotation. It, you know, goes beyond expectations. Like the sun's in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. Lots to think about there.
old leaves. Corporate Rainbow. Both by uh, Halakosi. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. The Matriarch. She's already heard that joke and didn't like it then either. <laughs> that's Z2Q. All right, so we have Galleria, Bre Beavis, and the Observation Deck. Oh, what the fuck is that? The, the core, I bet. Nutshell. Ooh. I'm going to go to the Galleria Beavis, I think. Because I, uh, like I was saying, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a big, big fan of his. And uh like to see what, he, what he's come up with. All right. Whoa! <laughs> That's so fucking sick. This is so fucking Beavis too, man. Black and golden showers. Dubiously frank, real and unwavering. These are the words that define the cult I am. Be gone, heathens. It's like a finger on top of like a woman's body made of bubble gum. Does it have a ticket or a, a reedy? It's a boob with a finger. Flaccid gourd. <laughs> Surreal, surrealism in its purest state, this rendition of a living gourd plays with morality. His finger tries to make a point, but the gravity of his content makes it heavy. The gourd's arc bypasses traditional truth and beauty represented by the temple beyond, only to be questioned by two strange silhouettes. Oh, I didn't see those originally. Like, let me get artsy for a second. This is what I'm getting from it. It's like the finger is trying to make a point, but it's attached to something vulgar, and it's attached to something that, I don't know, isn't shown in polite society. And these two silhouettes over here are distancing themselves from it and questioning it and being like, what the fuck? Flossy good. Oh. Surrealism in its purest state. This rendition of a living gourd plays this. with morality. His finger tries to make a point, but the gravity of his context makes it heavy. The gourd's arc bypasses traditional truth and beauty represented by the temple beyond. Only to be questioned by two strange silhouettes. <laughs> very, very cool. Does this one also have a triangle on it? It does. Black and golden showers. Dubiously frank. Real and unwavering. These are the words that define the cult I am. Begone, heathens. This is fucking gorgeous, man. Yeah, if you look at this one, it almost, you gotta step back, you gotta see a face up top. It's like a monkey, it's like a black monkey being peed on, straddling a couple of boobs. That's what I'm thinking that one is. Well, that was fucking dope.
<laughs> Who are you? Hopefully you don't move when I'm not looking at you. Oh, I thought he did. I gotta keep remembering that this isn't a horror game, but like it, it feels like it. And I don't know if that's just. I think it's the kind of the vibe they they were all going for. Like there, there is. Um, I think statues and there's a bit of an uncanny valley thing, and there's, uh, and the fact that it's a video game, and I don't know. They they've tapped into something really smart here, though. These three guys, and and it's fucking genius. The Wanderer. Nightcapped and candle in hand, he roams the halls in the pass of the idelium, unable to sleep until he sees it all. <laughs> so does the wanderer wander? I'm a wanderer. I'm a wanderer. I've been around and around. The water water colonnade observation deck. I'm gonna go check out the observation deck. Make a few observations. Lacrimosa. She kneels in rise in agony. Her light has gone out. She disappears into despair. Oh. Rain cloud. Whoa, that's a crazy one. Anguish, Helicosi. A despairing woman walls in her grief. Her exaggerated proportions accentuate feelings of extreme tension, but also serve to manifest the dual imagery of the sculpture. From where you stand now, the woman's head and arm combine to resemble an eye. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's like it changes from different angles. Wow. The remainder of her body appears to spill out in a splash of tears, creating a physical symbol of grief mask in her nest of stoic bronze. Wow, that, that's trippy. Like, it's, it's different things from different angles. That's so well done. Now here you can kind of just observe the the kind of world that we're in. It's kind of like this weird city. It's all lit up, and these kind of weird shapes are all surrounding it. And... All right, we've been that way. I think the light uh, thing was was down here. Or no, sorry, it was uh, something about water. The water colonnade. Cornered by Helicosi. As if threatened by the visitors circling it. In this figure maintains a fleeting and nearly alien impression from every angle. Stocky and rigid, forms lend to the masculine character a tense posture with all four limbs firmly planted on the ground beneath him. The cornered individual seems to be finding a desperate sense of security in, only sur in the only surface it can rely on, yet even this surface is receding. Huh. That's a sad one. The nightgown. Is she a bottle of perfume with a head like the end of a stick? Of lipstick? Yup. Z2Q. <laughs> cool. I like his kind of uh, sense of humor. You can tell they all kind of have their own way of... Uh, of... Uh, Explaining their art. Z2Q seems like he's, uh... He's kind of taking the jokey, kind of tongue-in-cheek angle, which I really like. Um... Helicosi is... Gives you a really, like, clear, cool, um... Explanation of, of what you're seeing and what you're looking at. Which I appreciate, because I don't... I know nothing about art and all that shit. I just like to look at it and... 
Anyways, and then Beavis too. I don't know. He's kind of somewhere in the middle of those two guys. He has this kind of kind of poetic way of speaking, and it's it's very sweet. All right, from Balcony Water Colony. What do we got back here though? These are very similar to our uh, kind of kinetic artifact that we saw earlier. Oh, you know what? This would almost be a kind of a good photo mode if we can get. Oh, this is such a sick dream. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that though. Might be the thumbnail. You might be seeing how the the uh, the pudding you got are seeing how the sausage is made, people. Anyways, that might be a good one. Regardless, I want I definitely want tons of screenshots of this one. This is I keep kind of forgetting to do that. Conduit by Helicosi. I like this one a lot. Again, he has these kind of ones that kind of really change from the angles you look at. It's really interesting. Proud and signaling confident in its presence and comfortable where it stands. It points somewhere, but it's hard to tell where. There is an unspoken commanding authority to it. Everybody listens, but nobody knows why. It's not even saying anything. Why are you still listening to it? I don't know, man. What is this? Whoa, this is that's a trip. Oh, that's so like freaking body or get in the water with it. No, you can't. Don't touch the art, please. Head, hand, heart, and foot. Maybe one side or the other. Top or bottom or middle. Divide it up. Lop it off. One-sided for now. To be finished. Possibly monochrome, but probably colored. <laughs> that is so freaking cool looking. That's another. I'm going to get another screeny of that one. This is the thing, I haven't really played around with the screen. Yeah, that's crazy that they fucking impl even implemented a, a photo mode into Dreams. I, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, actually, now that I think about it. Whoa. Okay, is this uh, somehow I kind of fucked it up with the photo mode? Yeah. Unrefined Realm of the Ringworm Folk by Beavis 2. <laughs> Very cool. This one got something? Or is they both the same? That, that's fucking breathtaking. Head, hand, heart and foot. Maybe one side or the other. Top or bottom or middle. Divide it up or lop it off. One sided for now. To be finished. Possibly monochrome. But probably colored. Bath Shiba Jr. Though some may see a figure, this lanky rendition of Tangled Headphones won the Nobel Peace Prize three years in a row for its daring attempt to humanize inanimate and objective frustration.
Cool. Alright. Excuse me. I think the pathway ended there, right? Yeah, I, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen a lot of it or very little of it. Um, but let's... We, I, we did see... We did come through here. I don't know if I took a look at Pandemonium. A turbulent scape of lion and form depicting various interwoven bodies of black and white. A map that is red without the eyes. To a destination that cannot be seen. Most maps in life tend to work like that. As do the destinations. Eyes follow make-believe maps sometimes. I wonder where the destinations really are. Where are we all heading? You know? Where do we really want to go? Oh! Oh! I love how it does that too. Like, it, like things kind of come alive as you move through it. That one's really fucking big and cool. That might be the screenshot that I've been looking for. Sorry, I'm just, it's just like screenshot heaven, dude. Whoa, I didn't even see this guy. I didn't even see that guy. Nose diver. <laughs> He's a legless ball of pure joy. Unencumbered by the chains of gravity, laws of physics, or Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Nose diver. <laughs> oh, man. Ark. Halikoski. Halikosi. Kosai. I've probably been saying it wrong this whole time. And I'm sorry, but your fucking works are really dope, dude. Oh. Seahorsey Technicolor Calorie. Like the colors in that one. An honest liar. Z2Q. That was the last time, I promise. I like that one a lot. I like I like the big the big statues of, of faces and stuff. That was freaking sweet. Okay, so we have seen the promenade. I haven't been to this section yet, though. These are all very thick. wonder if I can guess who did it, but I, I'm gonna guess it's Halleck Kosi who did it. Un Untitled series. Four stages depicting the decent into monotony beginning on the left. Four stages depicting the decent into monotony. Beginning on the left and ending on the right. Shapes appear and disappear as the narrative progresses. Coagulating an awful dance that ends only when two axes are all that is left to draw upon. Let's see. You see it kind of like it flutters too. Like it's got this kind of like flutteriness to it. I don't know if that's just the way the light's hitting it or not, but... Huh. Cool. Alright. Uh, I know I haven't seen the orange tree yet. This is cool. Bask in the light of the orange tree. The orange tree. The crown jewel of the idelium. This dynamic garden piece serves as a saver... As a saver as a savior of life and color at an otherwise bleak crossroads the cascading pillars of light thrown about by the leaves of glass illuminate the path reassuring those who walk beneath it of the beauty that lies ahead oh 
man. It moves with you and shit. Wow. All right, well, we're back at the start. I think we've seen a lot. I don't know if we've seen it all. I know Beavis had a gallery. Uh, there was like the gallery of Beavis. I don't know if uh, the other guys do or not, uh, but let me know because I would love to come back to this and maybe just see some other st stuff I haven't seen yet. If you guys have uh, anything, you know, you're like, oh, you missed that or, or just even want to talk about stuff or, or whatever, we can talk about it all. Um, I freaking love this though. Uh, definitely one of the best looking, most inspired dreams I've ever played. Just really like, I don't know. It really felt like a museum. It really had their own, uh, uh, style and expression. And, uh, I, I yeah I just, I loved it I thought it was freaking amazing I I, I I like that's why you know if I hadn't seen it all I'd, I'd love to see more of it um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too uh, I hope so enjoyed my my video walking through the museum with me uh, thank you like and subscribe if uh, if you're able that would be awesome I'd love that and uh, yeah thanks again guys we'll, we'll talk to you soon all right peace the fuck out see ya.